guys, Justin from Chronic Illusions TV. I hope you enjoyed that little preview of my current short film called Erg. That video was edited and created in Adobe Premiere CS6. So you guys might be wondering, how did I get the widescreen effect on CS6? A lot of people don't know how to do that. Some people think it's just a preset or a plugin that they have to download, like how you would have it already made for you on Final Cut Pro 10, but not exactly. It's actually a, P a PNG file, it could be a PSD file, it could be a JPEG, basically, of a cinematic bars that are, were especially made on Photoshop for a project. So basically what it is, is basically an image file that overlays onto your video and you have so many different sizes. I actually downloaded a pack from FilmDog Pro and I'll have the zip file then put up onto a file sharing site and I'll put the link on the video description for you guys to download it. So the credit goes to FilmDog Pro. Thanks for this uh, HD letterbox kit. You have your 1080p letterbox kit so you have more of a vertical letterboxing instead of your traditional horizontal letterboxing. So here's a horizontal, here's a vertical. So I don't really know the purpose about the vertical but I'm pretty sure a lot of people would use it in a much very creative way. So you got your 1080p pack which comes in different sizes and you got your 720p pack which also comes in different sizes. So the only thing about Final Cut it limits you from using what size of cinema bars or aspect ratios that we would call it that you want to use on your video. So let's get this tutorial started and uh, make sure to check out Erg. I'll have a video link on the video description. So enjoy guys. All right guys, so this tutorial would work with any version of Premiere Pro. I have the latest, which is Premiere Pro CS6. And what you would do is you would open up a, do a new document. Um, like I said, the zip file will be on the video description for you guys to download the cinema bars, the aspect ratio bars basically, for your videos to give that cinematic look. So basically, uh, I'm just going to open up a new project. I'm going to save this onto my desktop. Make sure you have your capture format to HDV, whatever you're comfortable with. It's all your preference. You're the editor, you're the creator, you're the visualizer. So I'm just going to put this folder on my desktop. Nothing special. You know, YouTube, Cinema, Cinema Bar Test. All right. Okay. I'm going to click OK on here. Uh, I use a DSLR, so I shoot with DSLR. So I'm going to choose my DSLR 1080p by 24 frames per second. So you can change your sequence name if you want, but I'll just keep it as sequence one. Keep it simple. All right. So this is, uh, of course, our new Adobe CS6 interface. So looks kind of familiar, but uh, there's a lot of new features on here. Well, I would have actually have a video on that later. So we're just going to import a file. I'm just going to import a random video file that I have on my computer. So let's uh, import a clip from my movie. So basically, let's do a face shot clip on my friend here. So we can import this file. So this is our clip shot right here. Sorry guys. Alright, so this clip right here has no cinema bars. Alright, so we're going to drag this clip onto a timeline. As you can see right here, there's no cinema bars whatsoever. It's actually, like I said, an overlay image that will be on your video. So this is the full format. There's nothing tweaked on it, nothing. All right. So it's clean. Now what we're going to do is we're going to import the file, the cinema bar or aspect ratio bar file that you actually want. Okay. So you're going to go to your Filmbox Pro HD pack. If you shot your video in 720p, make sure you go to your 720p. If you shot your video in 1080p, make sure you choose the 1080p format. So I am actually going to use the 233, 2.33 aspect ratio letterbox. All right, 1080p format. So it imported, it's right here. What we're going to do is we're going to drag it to the video 2 track, which is going to be above. This will always be above any video. Now, as you can see by side by side comparison, which is actually cool that I have it this way, you can see that there's no bars here, but it does look widescreen, look cinematic. But you want to give that extra cinematic look, you got your widescreen effect here. If you actually want to go a little bit thinner and not too thick on the bars, you would actually have to go import 
okay and you would actually look for a thinner format so let's go to uh, 2.08 okay let's take that out all right so then let's take this one out as you can see this is 2.33 aspect ratio now we're going to put 2.08 so as you can see is actually a much thinner and not too thick cinema bar or aspect ratio bar on your video but it still gives you that cinematic look you would have to color correct your video you can also position your video a little bit lower if the bars actually cut off your actors or your images uh, main focus so like my character here he has glasses and I wouldn't want my bars to actually cut off through the middle and I'm like I don't have a face on my video so I really want a face so what I would do is I would actually go down I'll show you that real quick so I'm gonna put my other aspect ratio bar right here okay all right so as you can see I want a little bit more eyebrows in this video right a little bit more facial expression okay so what I would do is I would take this video clip I would highlight it click on it go to my effects control and go to motion okay now what we would do is we would take the position your vertical position and we would drag it to the left if you want to go more up or drag it to the right so you can go more down as you can see I have less chin more eyebrow okay and uh, let's let's play this real quick you see he had a little bit of facial expression more facial expressions here okay so now let's try back to what it used to be this is what it used to be okay now let's see that as you can see you can't really uh, see the lining of his facial expression through his eyebrows so to actually show that facial expression you actually want to drop it down a little bit but just make sure you don't go all the way down so you can actually so you will end up having more black space of course this is actually the black space from the background if you have no clip so you actually want to go a decent size a little bit below and just find out with your clip actually ends what height does your clip actually end so that's pretty much it for this tutorial um, I would like to do a shout out to bentpixels.com they actually like my image my chronic illusions TV fan page on Facebook so they were nice enough to leave a post say if you're looking to partner with a high quality YouTube network check us out bentpixels.com cheers so I'm definitely gonna sign up for these guys this company actually is located in Las Vegas and they help youtubers with less than a thousand subscribers monetize their videos and make some sort of income off their videos but you have to have videos that actually go up to their requirement these guys actually work with a lot of media and technology so if you got if you're a techie guy or you do a lot of short films etc etc you know very creative stuff make sure to check these guys out and this is the form right here for the partner program applications they do have other programs I will have a personal video up about bentpixels.com coming up shortly and just make sure to stay tuned make sure to subscribe for more content on short films and upcoming tutorials I'll be coming to the channel so thanks for watching guys peace